Hello and welcome back in the kitchen. Your cookie was Pula on Team McClary Cooks. So tonight we are making a chicken pot pie. And I will be using these ingredients. Three chicken breasts, salt, pepper, parsley, garlic and onion powder, avocado oil, two cans of cream of chicken soup, white potatoes, one roll of regular pie crust, and I'll be using one pastry sheet, mixed vegetables, and half a bag of peas and carrots. Let's get this pie started. All right, you all, so the first thing we're gonna do is season our chicken. This is the three chicken breasts that I have cut and chopped into blocks, like so. I'm gonna season, season them with some seasonal. I'm gonna go in kind of hefty because I'm gonna mix it all together. All right, the next thing I'm gonna put on top of that is some black pepper. And last but not least, some paprika for some color. Okay. We're gonna stir them around like so, so that the seasoning can get acquainted with all of the other pieces. Once you get it coated like you want, go ahead and oil your pan with some avocado oil or whatever oil you may have. I'm gonna go in with avocado oil. This is a non-stick pan, okay? But I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit more. All right. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and drop our chicken in there. We're gonna cook and brown them to your liking. Afterwards, we're gonna add our onions into the mix. Now that we have all of our chicken out of our pan and have been cooked, we're not gonna scrape none of this stuff out of the bottom of the pan because that's your flavor. What we're gonna do next is throw in some onions, okay? Once we throw in the onions, we're gonna stir them around in there like so. The oil from the onions will pick up all that yummy goodness from the bottom of your pan. Okay, we're going to cook these until they are translucent and then we're going to come back in with our veggies. Alright, now we're going to add in our mixed vegetables and these came from the frozen section. And we're going to add in our peas and carrots. bag wouldn't let me be great, but it's okay. Now we're going to stir in all of that together. After adding in our mixed veggies, our mixed veggies, let me get it right. I'm going to add in two cans of cream of chicken soup. That came out clean, didn't it? Let's stir in all that stuff together and it will break down. Okay. Now 
once that break down it will spread into the bottom of our pan all right I'm going to add in the second one let's see if that one come out the same way and it did huh. all right let's get the bottom half of that condensed soup We're gonna let this cook and we will be back to add our chicken back in. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna spoon in our pot pie mix into this pan with the pie crust on the bottom, okay? Once I spoon in some, I'm gonna mix in my chicken with it. You can layer it in there like you layer mac and cheese, mac and cheese, or how you layer lasagna. It's all up to you and how you want to layer it. You, you can see I have chunks of potatoes in there as well. All right, now I'm gonna add some of my chicken. just a little bit into our pan okay you don't have to dig deep we're just covering it just a little bit all right let's add in more this pie is gonna be so good because I absolutely love the ones from KFC. So I know these are going to be really good. Now, if you choose not to use all of your chicken, you can save that for another day with a salad or you can save it with a, a side of veggies. Let's add more. I want it to be nice and full. There. All right. So now that we have our pan nice and full, as you can tell, I have some left over. I'm gonna set that on the side. And now I'm going to open my pastry sheets and I'm gonna lay that on top. All right, being careful not to tear them. one Let's get the wax sheet off all right now if it doesn't fit over your entire pan you can always pull it all right you can pull it it's just dough but it's gonna come out a lot fluffier than regular dough. Okay, let's get 
that stuff down right there on the side. Okay. Let's turn it back around and pull it like so. Now you can get creative and make a design so that your pie will have enough room to vent. Okay? Let's get that clean up. Alright? Grab a knife, let's get creative. Okay? I prefer using a straight edge knife because it'll be better for cutting whatever holes I want in there. Let's bend your guys next so that you can see. All right. I'm gonna go in with the next with mine. Okay, once you're through cutting in all of your vent holes, then you can prep it to go in the oven. I already have my oven set at 400 degrees. So I'm going to let this cook for about 45 minutes or until brown. I'm going to check on it, make sure all of my veggies are done in the inside afterwards. It's time to eat. Okay? Alright. I got my makeshift designs in there. Now it's time to eat. Okay? Alright, you guys. So we are back with the final results. After an hour and 20 minutes, our chicken pot pie is completed. Okay? Now, going to sprinkle some fancy food grass all over her and call it a night you guys thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm back in the kitchen see you soon bye